All right. Good morning once again. Uh, welcome to Inquisit to Study. This channel helps to uh, intends to help students in yeah uh, on the academic journey. All right. So let's begin. So this video we are going to learn something about Sakai. So we've heard of Sakai and we don't know what Sakai is. So already. Sakai regulate the teaching and learning of students. It is where resourceful materials like slides, recorded lecture videos, and many more could be retrieved. So at times, our lectures will be online and we'll be using Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and the red. So the lectures will record the lectures, they record the class, and post it on Sakai for you to watch it later. You get me? Uh -huh. And with this Sakai, it's also provide a means to take tests. You can also take tests, the quizzes, the IE and the rest. Okay. So with this video, we are going to learn how to use the Sakai. And with the freshest Sakai, you don't have to worry yourself oh, how do how do I get my Sakai account? No, it's automatic once you've been admitted to the university. You get it. So you just need your student ID and your pin the pin is five digit numbers of which you are going to choose it yourself that's why we call it pin personal identification number all right so we will not waste time let's start something new right so you enter your website or the web website address for Sakai so that is sakai.ugin.edu portal so here is your student user ID then your password then you just need to click enter all right so this is how Sakai looks like so you're having your courses and the rest over there good so in this video we are going to learn how to submit an assignment Lectures can post assignment on Sakai and they will ask you to what do those assignments and there will be a deadline attached to it. So you will type the uh, assignment using MS Word at time sound. Let's just prefer PDF to what MS Word. Or at times you will just need the MS Word. So you type it, you save it, they will give you the requirement and the rest. So you just start. How do I submit my assignment? Now you go to what the site where they've written site you choose your courses so here are my courses one two three i just registered so definitely the rest will come good so this one you just choose any of them choose any of them let's see this one this one's computer application management i mean level 300 that's why you're seeing egbs 303 good so you go to assignment so let me choose this one rather you go to assignment here now based on the type of assignment you see the plagiarism this one is uh, a site for checking plagiarism but it's the same procedure in you know, submitting normal work to the lectures now you see plagiarism here plagiarism checker this is the thought if you submit the work this status will change from not started to once submitted this is the open date it means the date the, the day that the lecturers posted the assignment and the due date is when you are supposed to what or we are we call it the expiry date but as that we call it deadline yes let me use that word, deadline so this one the open date was what january 3 and the deadline is what january 15. so as at 15 january and if not submitted the work boom it's over so this one i'll go for the first one because they just posted it 16th january which was i think some days ago for the studio or something like that and the due date or the deadline is what january 31 that is 31st january monday can be yes so i'll choose this one rather so you click on the assignment and you see as assignment in progress and the rest so now you read through and because the lectures are demanding documents from you, you are not going to type anything here. More, more times, they just need the document. 
others will prefer docs that is the microsoft word and at times others will prefer what the pdf format so you type it in ms word then you convert it from what uh, docs that is ms word to what pdf now in the pdf you scroll down when you click on that assignment you scroll down you see attachment here attachment you see attachment here now the site is telling us that no attachment yet so select a file from a computer now here you select a file that file is the assignment you've done the assignment that you typed using the ms word so you just choose the file select choose file so we click on the choose file it open a pop-up menu for you just just select the type uh, the file you want to send so you just have to locate the file where you stored it down desktop document everywhere so let me go to desktop i must slice my document all right so i want to choose one work so yes work of mine so the lecture has that to save it with our name and our id so just click after selecting the uh, file double click on it or you select it once you click on open here open have you seen now you you will see another choose file no file choosing here no the the caption has changed from select file from the computer to what select more files meaning you've already selected your file so you see that has made this docs so this one is word and i pushed i i selected it i uploaded it what on this date this time so if you selected you wrongly selected a file or this was not the file you intended to what, select you can undo it by clicking on that to remove have you seen it so there, there's no files yet there is no file yet so select a file from a computer so let's select another file so i'll select the same file again and click on open so that's i've uploaded this one so you see another choose file no so read this one your work has been uploaded successfully select more files from your computer now here you are not done after selecting uploading the file here you are not done the rest is what you click on proceed on normal occasions i told you this site i'm using is for what plagiarism checker you you know plagiarism from the level hundreds or plagiarism is where you use some uh, someone's work word to word like you copied someone's work you get me so you use this site to check whether your your plagiarism is is good or like they didn't copy at all from anyone you get me uh -huh. so this is the same procedure in submitting your assignment to your lectures and the moment you click on proceed or you click on submit with a normal site or with the normal courses your lecturers are going to receive your work and going to appear to them as like you sent it to them and they will see it with your what? student id and your name because Sakai, the Sakai itself contains your student id and your name so they will see your name and your student id so after marking it they will download your work the this file you sent to them they will download it and read it so after reading it they will just give your marks and you find your mark there so after the work you click on what proceed you click on what proceed or at times you see submit now so let if you are already to submit the completed assignment click submit otherwise click edit you will then be able to make changes or save now this one is giving us a question whether this is the assignment you want to see uh, you want to send or we made a mistake so if this is the assignment you want to submit just click on submit or if you wrongly selected or you want to make changes to your work you click on what edit then you come and remove your this thing your work or something like that so here your submission will be sent to turn to review for plagiarism 
only the following file types will be accepted now so sakai accepts these types of files only pdf word and the rest it doesn't accept what images and those types do you get me so if you send images to your lecture if you type that in and you screenshot it and you submit it your lectures are not going to view it they are not going to mark you and you are going to get zero or dash so anytime you test it make sure you submit it in a document form you document it don't send it don't don't type and do screenshots or don't type it and capture it so that you send it as a, an attachment no send it as a document i repeat myself send it as a document otherwise you get zero you click on what submit you click the moment you click on submit you see this you have successfully submitted your work you receive an email confirmation so once you submitted your work you receive an email in your student account now if you have not activated your student email then please i'm begging you to what do so if you need help you can you can comment uh, you can comment under this video now you need help with the student activation all right so this is how you submit your work using what sakai so what the sakai is what learning material something something so it's not anything new it's an, it's a website that you used to learn you used to download lecture notes from there you have your tests text and quizzes there you uh many more many more many more so you, you submitted it so later on if you want to check your grade if the lectures marked it or something like that you go to grade book there are no grade items so this particular course you've not started so that's why we are not seeing any grade there so you see grade book you go to grade book to check your marks for your work so next time we we'll meet I will teach you how to download slide lecture notes or lecture videos from Sakai. So this is inquisitive to study. This group intends to help students on their academic journey and so more. We are always oh sorry, I was doing something. Okay. So this as I was saying, we are always welcome, don't hesitate to chat us if you have a problem i think you've seen our flyers our whatsapp groups our telegram groups and many more so if you need help don't hesitate to comment comment all right so thank you once again this group is what inquisitive study and welcome to the premier university in ghana and the university of ghana all right Thank you. Bye-bye.